Beloveds, it's your girl Clementine from Big Empress Energy. I'm sending you beautiful, bountiful blessings. Be open to receiving them. Mm, mm, mm. Me, amores, thank you so much for watching. I am Clementine Chloe. I record energy and people to fill okay. And this is our spirit seed. We're going to find out what our angels, ancestors, and guides want us to know right now. Okay, now, Mira, if the reading resonates with you, please comment, okay? You could also tip in my cash app or buy me a coffee. The link is in the bio. I appreciate the energy exchange. And if you would like to go deep and book a private reading with me, go to BigEmpressEnergyLLC.com. Okay, I'm also a Reiki practitioner and, and each new and full moon, I do collective candle Reikis. Okay, so I send energetic Reiki healing to a group of people, whoever participates. The exchange is $12.12. Okay, you can secure your spot on my website, BigEmpressEnergyLLC.com. Okay, you can also donate spots to family or friends, whoever you think needs the Reiki, or you can even donate to a beloved in need. I will be posting on my stories a way for you to win a chance at Collective Candle Reiki. The focus for the new moon in Cancer, the second new moon in Cancer of the year, which is very rare, is going to be the sacral chakra. So we're going to be focusing on creativity, sexual healing, okay, and allowing ourselves to change, to be to be mutable, okay? So if you're looking for change, if you're going through a transformation in your life, this may be for you, okay? Check previous posts for candle Reiki information to find out. All right, so let's get into this reading and see what we need to know right now as a collective, every single body watching this video, okay? All right. Spirit guys, call upon the master teachers and loved ones of every single body watching this video. Spirit, what does every single body need to know? Okay, so I'm seeing like an ancestor altar. Okay, so people needing to make offerings okay at their ancestral altar sit at their ancestral altar change your water change your flowers um people changing pictures as well or maybe putting pictures up on that and ancestral pictures okay um the feeling is that you're always connected all right you're always connected to um the people who've come before you and you have soul ties all right um also seeing green, which is talking about our heart chakra opening up and expanding. So a lot of us are healing deep traumas. A lot of us are healing um, heart chakra wounds. And the advice is to really be compassionate with yourself, to love yourself, to forgive yourself for anything that you think that you might have done or if anyone wronged you, to heal that space so you can open, all right? Because if you're blocking, you're not letting love in. You're blocking your blessings, okay? So some people really need to heal that heart. Um, some people are going to be healing their heart chakra by ugh, the throat, speaking up, okay? Having the conversations, having difficult conversations that maybe you don't want to have, all right? You better do it, all right? Better out than in. All right, Spirit, what does every single body need to know? Boom, just like that. We got three chords, okay? Three chords. And with this Ace of Cups, oh, yeah, baby, we talk about that heart chakra. It's in the reverse. Eight of, eight of Swords in the reverse and Page of Cups in the reverse. So a lot of people going through a lot of internal shifts, okay? So maybe on the outside, things are... Tranquilo, they cooling, they nothing too crazy, but inside it's a turmoil. Inside in your mind it's a turmoil. I'm seeing karma, I'm seeing generational healing because I have the world card, okay? This world card is represented by the planet Saturn, okay? Saturn is daddy, daddy karma, okay? Let me tell you about that, okay? So a lot of people is up leveling, okay? It's like one door closing, one door open, okay? I feel like seeing people seeing things from an elevated level, you need to see it from a higher standpoint when we have this world card and that's going to help you with the forgiveness ace of cups in the reverse self-forgiveness because or people eight of eight of swords people wanting to keep you stuck okay people oh this is coming in deep this is your shadow side loving your shadow side a lot of limitations that could be placed on you loving those limitations that means maybe you're not living you know where you want to live maybe you're not in the relation you know in the relationships you want to be in okay um but it's like maybe ch changing the way that you're looking at it, asking what is it that you're being called to pay attention to at this time, okay? Um, feeling stuck, feeling held back, all right? Um, and it's almost like 
by these emotions so people are crippled with emotions okay i'm seeing a lot of tears so you might be feeling very like you've been crying for no reason okay or just it, it comes out of you okay and it's just like what's happening people feeling like they have no options have no choices don't know what's true cannot see okay so this is a lot of overwhelming emotions and the advice from spirit with this page of cups in the reverse is sit with the divine sit with your ancestors sit with your um your spirit guides okay because with this page of cups it's like you're getting the signs and synchronicities spirit is sending animals okay you might be seeing random animals that you may don't often see okay look up the meanings for those animals as well um this reminds me i had two birds come to me yesterday okay they came into my wall and they came not not knocking at me and that never really happens and this is these are little messages from spirit okay or you might see also some people I'm, i keep seeing a dead animal on the road okay so you might be seeing dead animals or deceased animals um as well okay um interesting some people are also going to be eating i feel like less um junk okay wanting to really cle cleanse the system maybe detoxing doing ju juice detoxes or eating um more light only eating maybe like you know being a becoming a pescatarian or something like that okay also seeing this energy now i'm seeing that this shadow side that's coming for you it could be coming for you as well in your sleep okay you might be seeing a lot of you might be having vivid dreams okay um what spirit wants you to know is that you're not held back okay that this is a lesson okay it feels like a lesson in love all right and a lesson in loving yourself and a lesson in loving others okay a lesson in closing doors when it's time to move on and and then with this age and oh and reopening your heart okay um with this world card i am also seeing someone who um the like literally the world has opened up you have like upgraded up leveled okay you are like a, you are like ascending okay you are just like wow but then i feel like you're looking back at your old past you're looking back at your old self and you don't even recognize that person no more okay it's really a fresh start um you don't recognize this person anymore you're seeing clearly the limitations you placed upon yourself with the narrative you're telling yourself with the you know with the stories with the emotions with the blocks not letting you feel your feelings okay this this could be also talking about people like quitting alcohol quitting drinking um as well or it's because you took it too far okay because you took it to the extreme and you've been numbing 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 and now you're needing to feel 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 okay feel it to heal it my love okay that's what i will say um so crying feeling feeling like mm, we don't have no body okay feeling held back but the cure for this, the remedy for this is connecting with your spirit guides, your angels, and your ancestors, okay? Seeing things, um, being more innocent about it, okay? Um, also, you guys could be manipulating, okay? You guys could be manipulated by... Um, there could be like an inner father, inner mother in your mind feeling like manipulating you. And you're kind of needing to ascend. You're kind of needing to close the door on this inner critic voice, okay? Um wow this is this is this is a lot let me tell you this is a lot but what y'all need to know is that with the world card you have learned a lot trust yourself trust your intuition ace of cups you need to trust your intuition okay um trust the messages you're gonna get a lot of signs from spirit this is talking about a lot of synchronicities here okay um even when things feel tough, even when things feel very, very, very hard, okay? Now I'm going to pull some Gypsy Oracle cards. See what's really popping over here in the streets, what the situation may have to deal with, okay? Or what we, what we may need to know about, about this, okay? Mm, so we have child, wow. Some people are having these issues from when they was a child, okay? Um, or also needing to be more childlike. Some people are also, like I said before as well, they could also be, a child could also be feeling as well pregnant okay or pregnant with an idea um but what i'm seeing is ace of cups page of cups very child energy sat the world card saturn growing up okay um mm. so some of you guys don't be too prideful as well it feels like we got haughtiness it feels like the pride could be uh, the problem okay pride could be the problem you don't want to heal your wounds because you have so much pride because it's, it could be an ego thing you need to get it to be a spiritual thing okay you need to let your spirit come in it okay with the child energy okay some of you guys um dealing with inner child wounds right we have this page of cups in this so 
Woo! A lot of inner child wounds, your inner child feeling stuck, feeling trapped, your inner child wanting to cry, call out for you. And with the world card, it's like, mama, like, I got you. Like, don't worry, okay? Because we have the world card, like, I'm up level, I'm upgraded, I'm coming to you from a, a grown ass perspective, okay? So I'm seeing a lot of reparenting, reparenting any limitations, also things that were done in the dark as well coming to light when we have this energy, and it could be causing a lot of tears, okay? So I'm seeing shadow side, I'm seeing inner child trauma. Um, haughtiness, okay? Don't be too proud to learn more. Don't be too proud to change the way that you're going about things, okay? Now, let me pull a wild offering card and see what this moment is offering for us right now, okay? Mm, okay, spirit. Okay, spirit wants us to do what's blocking us okay body so people need to pay attention to their body like i said maybe the way that you are eating is different okay um people not feeling stuck in their body feeling trapped in their body maybe wanting to change their body okay do whatever that makes gonna make you feel comfortable okay because you don't need to stay in this space where you're feeling trapped okay i'm seeing with that eight of swords too some people may be going under the knife to uh to change your body and there's nothing wrong with that if that's what you want to do okay Okay, so what... <laughs> So what's blocking us? Oh, yes, beloved. We have ascension, okay? So, and I saw 1122 when I said that, all right? So that's confirmation right there. As ascension is a block, we are up-leveling, okay? We are ascending past. We have the world card, all right? So we are really our own, like, we're reparenting ourselves, okay? And we are just not who we thought we were. We're not who anyone thought we were. We are beyond our wildest dreams, okay? So really needing to take things from the higher perspective also could be feeling ascension symptoms, headaches, cr crying, nausea, etc. We have burden as a block. So a lot of people carrying burdens from their childhood, traumas from their childhood onto this life. With the world card, you've learned your lesson. You're needing to move on from this energy. You're needing to cry it out. Let yourself feel the feelings. Do not escape. Do not escape. When we have the eight of swords in the reverse with this ace of cups, you might want to go into illusions. You might want to drink yourself into a coma. You might want to smoke yourself into next weekend. Okay. And it is talking about this is going to, that's going to make it tougher. That's going to make it a little bit tougher to run through these energies. It's going to make you a little tougher to ascend. We have the burden. Okay. So you're carrying way too much and it's in the mental realm. Okay. I'm feeling like some people need to sing, dance, move, get the energy moving through you. Okay. So it doesn't get stuck in you. Then we have new beginnings as a block. So what I'm seeing is that this whole new world is opening up for y'all. Okay. We have this energy of a fresh start, okay? We have Ace of Cups. We have the World card. So with this energy, be open and receptive to the new that Spirit's trying to bring to you. Think of thinking about things in a new way, loving your inner child in a new way. Okay. Seeing yourself, maybe as somebody I need to carry a picture of yourself as it, as a kid. Okay. I'm telling you, it might be very healing for you. All right. So it is that time. I love to ask a question. We're going to ask like a yes or no type question, my love. And what should I also need to know is don't ask the same question you asked before. Okay. All right. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm going to cry. Okay, this says collaboration. Ace of Cups, I'm going to cry. Uh, collaboration will be key. Collaboration will be key. So that means that y'all have to uh, work together with somebody. Don't think you have all the answers. Um, Look for help, okay? You is not an expert. That's what y'all need to know right now, okay? That's very that's very powerful for me, okay? I just want y'all to know that. Their co collaboration will be necessary. That means you got to put yourself out there, all right? That means you need to put yourself out there. And you know what? I fuck with that. Right? I fuck with that. Y'all want to do everything alone. That's why you sad and crying. Okay? Now we have Emu. This says, this is a good time to go on a new adventure. Okay? And when I feel a new adventure, I ain't saying to go on a trip. I ain't saying to go on a plane. <laughs> no. What I'm saying is a new adventure. Okay? So doing things in a new way. All right. When this is saying maybe you've taken a risk, okay. Maybe you're starting that project you've always wanted to project to start, okay. Maybe you're going down a deep hole of your shadow side in the underworld, okay. And all the subconscious narratives and lies have been holding you back, maybe, okay. But you need to talk about it with your friends. We got meerkat, okay. Not just any old scallywag, okay. I'm talking about it says get support from a trusted group of like-minded friends, okay. And we also got cheetah, okay. So that's saying make moves. 
make money moves okay this says get clear on your intention stay focused and move quickly to achieve your goal okay my love my love if that reading resonated with you please comment holla at your girl you could sip here my cash up buy me a coffee go to my website big empress energy llc.com bye